Welcome to the world of TJ Hooker, a TV series that started in 1982 and quickly became a hit. This show follows the life of a police officer named TJ Hooker, who, after a personal tragedy, decides to go back to his old job as a patrol sergeant. The series is packed with action and drama, showing the daily challenges of police work and the personal stories of the officers. It's not just about the high-speed chases and crime fighting, it's also about the people behind the badge and their lives. As we dive into the series, you'll find many moments that will make you laugh, some that might shock you, and others that could bring a tear to your eye. So stay tuned for some surprising facts and touching stories. I remember the first time I watched TJ Hooker. It was an experience that made me appreciate the tough job police officers have. My favorite actor in the series was William Shatner, who played the title role. His performance was strong and memorable, making TJ Hooker a character you couldn't forget. Now I'd love to hear from you. What is your most treasured memory or personal experience related to TJ Hooker? Your stories and memories are important to us and we're excited to read them in the comments below. So please share your experiences and let's keep the conversation going. That's what I was thinking, Pete, after all these years. Let me give it to you straight. TJ Hooker, the cop drama starring William Shatner, showcased his acting range beyond his iconic role as Captain James T. Kirk. The series, which spanned five seasons, featured a strong ensemble cast including Adrian Zeman, Heather Locklear, James Darren, and Richard Hurt. It was a show that depicted the daily challenges of law enforcement officers, with Shatner's character often going above and beyond to fight for justice. The series resonated with audiences for its portrayal of camaraderie among the officers and the dedication to their duty. Despite some predictable elements, it remains a memorable part of television history for its heartfelt storytelling and commitment to showing the human side of policing. It's a show that, while it may hold nostalgic value for those who grew up with it, still stands as a testament to the genre and the era it represents. In the show, the lead character stands out from his colleagues in a subtle yet noticeable way his name badge uniquely displays both his first and middle initials, a distinction not shared by his peers. When action shifts to the squad car, a keen observer might notice a consistent oversight in safety protocols. Neither the lead character nor his partner are ever seen buckling up. Off screen, the actor who brought the lead role to life had a memorable moment on a popular late night comedy show. He lampooned a political scandal, poked fun at his own recently ended show, and playfully chided over enthusiastic fans of his previous science fiction series. This appearance became notable enough to inspire the title of his later memoir, a nod to the catchphrase he delivered to the audience. At this do I. I don't want In a notable crossover of careers, William Shatner shared the screen with Heather Locklear, his former co-star in an episode of Boston Legal, years after their initial collaboration. Shatner's career also includes working alongside Leonard Nimoy in various series, showcasing a recurring partnership that spans decades. A unique detail from their shared series is the consistent use of the number 49E357 on patrol cars, a subtle but persistent element throughout the episodes. Don't put that here. Oh, I'm sure it's something serious. In the action-packed series, sunglasses are a rare sight. Exceptions are made for Anne Perry in an episode where she plays a blind character, and similarly in another episode, the lead character dons them as part of a disguise while also portraying blindness. Adding to the show's unique aspects, James Darren portrays Jim Corrigan, sharing his name with a comic book hero's human alter ego. Meanwhile, Heather Locklear juggles her role on this show with another popular series, showcasing her ability to handle dual roles simultaneously. Oh, well, I'm sorry, I seem to be a little early. Oh, that's okay, come on in. Jim Corgan, before his tenure with the Los Angeles City Police Department, served in the San Francisco Police Department and pursued a side career as a race car driver. His linguistic skills include fluency in Spanish, a fact disclosed during an intense episode. Interestingly, whenever the character Hooker is injured by gunfire, the right shoulder is the recurring target. After the original network discontinued the show in 1985, it found a new home on CBS, which aired fresh episodes in its late-night lineup for the 1985-86 season. Although production ceased in the spring of 1986, 
The show remained on the airwaves in reruns until September 1987, coinciding with the premiere of Star Trek The Next Generation. Stay as long as you like. So, you ever get tired of running this kiddie park? <laughs> the show's cast had a notable crossover with the Star Trek universe. Vic Tabak, Gary Graham, and Ike Eisenman all appeared in various Star Trek series and films. Leonard Nimoy, known for his role as Spock, and other actors like Percy Rodriguez, Mark Alemo, Ray Wise, Miguel Furr, Gary Lockwood, Jonathan Goldsmith, Marcy Lafferty, Robert Hooks, Robert O'Reilly, James Darren, Richard Hurd, and Thalmas Rasalala also shared this connection. William Shatner, who led the cast, was already famous for his role as Captain Kirk. The series was consistent in its portrayal of police attire, with characters always seen in full uniform, complete with long sleeve shirts, ties, and jackets for colder weather, but never in short sleeves or hats. It's locked over here. Well, it's unlocked here. But we don't... Heather Locklear gained recognition for her portrayal of Officer Stacy Sheridan, among other notable television roles. In the series, the police unit numbers carry specific meanings. 4 Adam 30 and 4 Adam 16 indicate the division and patrol section, with Adam signifying a two officer unit. These designations are part of a broader system used by the Los Angeles Police Department, where each station and unit type is assigned a unique code. The authenticity of the show was initially enhanced by Bob Grogan, a detective from the Hillside Strangler case, who served as a technical advisor before his departure over creative differences. Kids and drugs. Yeah, they seem to go hand in hand these days. I keep thinking. In the early 1980s, a show captured the attention of viewers with its portrayal of the challenges and camaraderie within a police force. Behind the scenes, the cast developed strong bonds, notably William Shatner, who formed a lasting friendship with co-star Heather Locklear. The show's casting decisions were influenced by Shatner's height, ensuring he was not overshadowed by taller actors. This led to creative filming techniques to maintain the illusion on screen. Both Shatner and Lee Bryant, another cast member, shared a unique connection through their roles as distressed airline passengers in different projects, showcasing their range beyond the police drama. Shatner's performance in a classic episode of The Twilight Zone and his appearance in the sequel to the comedy film Airplane are memorable examples of his work outside the series. When you and Romano found a Bible laid next to her on the seat. Anybody see the suspect? Just her. In the early 1980s, a new police drama introduced viewers to a dedicated officer named Thomas Jefferson Hooker. The show's launch coincided with the post-production phase of a major science fiction film, with the lead actor, William Shatner, bridging the gap between his role in the cosmos and his earthbound character as a law enforcer. Rick Husky, the creator, envisioned Shatner as the sole fit for the role, bringing a sense of authority and commitment to the portrayal of the titular character. The series quickly became known for its intense action sequences and the lead character's unwavering dedication to justice. Chicken is like chewing on a steel belted radio. Try some salt. In his second major television role, William Shatner plays a character whose initials are a nod to historical figures, with TJ representing Thomas Jefferson. This choice of initials is a subtle link to his iconic role as James Tiberius Kirk. The show sets itself apart by creating a unique police department, the LCPD, which, while bearing a strong resemblance to the Los Angeles Police Department in uniform and vehicle design, is entirely fictional. This approach follows the precedent set by the earlier series SWAT, which also featured a made-up WCPD. Additionally, an episode titled The Lipstick Killer coincided with the introduction of a new area code and the birth of actor Max Remill, marking a day of multiple significant events. In the mid-80s, an episode titled Partners in Death was penned by Elizabeth Shatner, adding a personal touch to the series as she is the daughter of the lead actor. The show often featured high-speed chases with a main character's patrol car, a 1977 Dodge Monaco, emitting a noticeable amount of smoke due to its age and high mileage, a stark contrast to the actual vehicles used by the LAPD at the time. Initially conceived as the protectors, the show's focus shifted to highlight the character of Hooker, following the standout performance of William Shatner in the pilot, leading to a change in the series title and central theme. 
This adjustment marked a departure from the creator's original vision of an ensemble cast, instead spotlighting the singular journey of the titular character. Children are prime, pump full of drugs, shoved off a building. Simpson, we need you to testify. In paying tribute to a notable figure from the Civil War, the lead character's surname in the show is a nod to General Joseph Hooker. Contrary to what one might assume from their on-screen presence, Richard Hurd is actually the junior of William Shatner. The series is known for its recurring themes of misfortune. The falling the main character as the protagonist is typically shot in the shoulder, with a rare exception being a chest wound in one episode. His partner often suffers head injuries, leading to concussions or temporary loss of vision. Another member of the team repeatedly encounters former lovers who have ties to criminals, resulting in either their arrest or demise. Lastly, the female officer's undercover assignments frequently go awry, resulting in her being taken hostage. You wonder if there's somebody out there worrying about her right now? If there was, she wouldn't be here. <laughs>